Yeah. Just twisting up the more. It doesn't fit, so they though. Fit. Good, good. All right. Where's the real where are you going to go? Uh, um, there's this rack. Oh, OK. Yeah. Yeah. It's all CNC and all. Hey guys, welcome back to Fraser Focus. It is time for our student of the week. So it's so hard to choose just one. This week we have two, Rhea and Alicia. We're here at North Surrey Secondary School. What are you guys doing there? So we're just fixing up our robot. Cool. We use that model to go to the Worlds actually, which was in Houston. Two, one, go. chosen because while we do a lot of robotics and hands-on stuff, there's also the leadership aspect that we have, which is basically through the robotics program, we're running programs, doing administrative stuff. It's more, it's both the admin and the technical side that we have. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but additionally, we've also led different groups of people in the team, and it's also like helped a lot. Okay, so you have a lot of leadership skills as well. Yeah. Over there in the back, not quite finished yet, but it's this year's model, which we'll be using for the competition this year in Victoria. And while it's not quite done yet, it's still there to look cool. There's totally something here. Yeah, I'm just definitely. gonna act like that totally fits. <laughs> These girls learned the hard way because they were able to take the risk and jump in in grade 10 and try to join a robotics team with no experience. Um, but they are paving the way for other girls and trying to make it more in inviting and a safe and inclusive environment for everyone to feel welcome and safe to risk and learn. Except for Morgan, she's already there too. <laughs> Yeah. Morgan is all over it. She's amazing. So these kind of, they have a pneumatic cylinder in the middle and then they're going to shoot out. They started last year with the robotics team with no experience whatsoever and now they've come to uh, promote and recruit and run their very own program with elementary students. So they have recruited 25 elementary students from a local elementary school. They come out to our school and what they do is the these girls organize a team of high school kids that mentor the elementary kids in Lego robotics. It's like their full effort in into everything they do with great passion. I've known them since um, elementary school for about five years now. They um, can tackle um, robotics and they can balance uh, so many activities such as work experience. They're so involved and they uh, can achieve good grades as well. Once you have your two equations, we can actually use elimination here because... Right before this class that we're going to, I had bio. And I had Asian studies, so social studies. Wow, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So are you guys pretty well-rounded in most of these classes? I would say so. I would say so, yeah. I, I honestly do like a lot of things, so I try to take all the courses I can and all the different types. Great. Mm -hmm. And the same goes for me. I'll show you my notes. <laughs> The more you do it, you also kind of get better at it as yeah. well. If you want to be student of the week, don't be afraid to try everything and do the things even if you don't know if you can. Because when you do that and you learn those skills, even if you're not amazing at it, the yeah. fact that you still have those skills will show that you're a well-rounded student and you're a leader in your career. Well, that's it for a student of the week. Stay with us here on Fraser Focus. We're heading over to another story and insight in your community.